Lebanon's prime minister designate abandoned his efforts to form a government thwarting a French-led initiative that sought to end a political impasse and unlock international aid after a massive explosion destroyed nearly half the capital last month. Prime Minister-designate Mustafa Adib on Saturday said his resignation came after the collapse of a consensus among Lebanon's political elite over the government reforms that had emerged during a visit to Lebanon last month from French President Emmanuel Macron. Instead, Lebanon's politicians split over which party would control which key ministry. In Lebanon's complicated political system, senior government posts are shared between the country's religious groups. The president is Christian, the speaker of parliament is Shia, and the prime minister is Sunni. For almost a decade, Lebanon's political elite have maintained a consensus as to which party controls which key ministry. But now, international pressure under the pretext of combating corruption has put pressure on Lebanon's ruling class to put a government that excludes main parties like that of the Shia Amal movement and Hezbollah. Mind you, both parties control the majority in the Lebanese parliament alongside their allies from different other sects in Lebanon, but mainly the Christian Maronite party of the Free Patriotic Movement. The failure to form a government comes at a time when the country is struggling with a host of problems that were compounded by the August 4th explosion at the country's main port that killed nearly 200 people. The local currency has lost more than 80% of its value against the dollar since last year and inflation is skyrocketing. Fuel is scarce and some gas stations are rationing their supplies. Poverty and hunger are increasingly widespread. While Beirut once had a handle on the coronavirus, new cases have now spiked to more than 1,000 a day, stretching the battered medical sector to its limits. All this while the U.S. maintains its indirect sanctions on the country for the sole purpose of pinning the crisis in Lebanon on none other than the Lebanese resistance, Hezbollah. Welcome to the Mideast stream, I'm Marwa Osman.